physical advantages of Ben Saunders. Six foot three, six and a half inch reach advantage. He's taller, he's longer. Amaya has to deal with that in order to be successful. With the official introductions of quarterfinal number one, let's send it inside the Bellator cage to Michael Williams. Bellator Fighting Championships along with Mohegan Sun, a world at play, now present the quarterfinal round of the Bellator Season 6 Welterweight Tournament. Brought to you by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us, MoheganSun.com. And now set for three five-minute rounds, introducing first the red corner at 5'10", weighing in at 170 pounds even. Undefeated as a professional, nine wins, no defeats, from Bradenton, Florida, Raul Smashmud Amaya. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner at six foot three, weighing in at 170 pounds. The season five tournament finalist returns with 12 professional victories, four defeats, and two draws. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida, introducing Ben Killaby Saunders. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, Todd Anderson. In the quarterfinal round of all Bellator tournaments, elbows to the head are not allowed. The winner becomes the first semifinalist. Will it be that man, Raul Amaya, he's in the white trunks, or will it be that man, his opponent, Ben Saunders, who is in the black trunks? The bell in round number one, Todd Anderson is the referee. Does not want to stall and stand in front of Ben Saunders. Good body lock. Way in. Shamaya looked for the inside outside trip, couldn't find it. He's also in a suplex position. See the big wide base held by Saunders. Amaya now thinking single leg takedown. Locking up a Kimura on that left arm of Amaya. Amaya thinking single leg. Saunders thinking Kimura from a really unlikely position. Yeah, but he'd have to sweep when Amaya tries to take him down. That's when he'd get it going. Amaya, a high school wrestler in Florida, he said the one opponent that Ben Saunders has had trouble with throughout his career had been wrestlers such as myself. See here, hanging on to that Kimura. Two right hands to the head by Saunders. Carl Parisian known for that move. He would lock it up and then roll into it. Now going straight defense. Good turn by Saunders. Showing outstanding positional awareness and throws the knee and a high knee on the butt of the chin of Raul Amaya. This is where he's so deadly. His clinch is fantastic. Sharp knees. Just like that. Another knee just above the belt line thrown by Saunders. Look how active Saunders is with his head. Back and forth, back and forth. But Amaya being smart here, he's pummeling on the inside. Another big knee by Saunders. He's trying not to give Saunders any space here. Amaya called this the biggest fight of his life, enters at 9-0, and, oh, and he said Saunders the toughest opponent of my career. Well, lock up the Kimura now. Saunders still going for it with wrist control. He lost wrist control, lost the Kimura. He ends up on top, that's the important part. Thought we were gonna see a little, uh... Sakuraba, Henzo, Gracie action there. For the old school fans. You new guys, look it up. Great fight. Good left hand by Saunders. More left hands by Ben Saunders. Good job staying on his back. The pressure of Ben Saunders here. Looks like Amaya trying for the Grammy roll wrestling move. Jimmy, I thought I was going to have the first Kazushi Sakuraba reference. No, I beat you to it. You beat me to it. Halfway through round number one. Two rights to the body by Saunders. See, Saunders not really committing with his hips, not trying to get his hooks. Big He's staying knees. safe. Oh, man, big knees. Saunders diving into those knees. See, Amaya just holding onto the wrist, playing a lot of defense right now. It's a veteran move. Saunders knows it's hard to take the back when your opponent is pressed up against the fence. He might lose position, so he's keeping very heavy hips right now. Saunders now heavy right hands to the body. Going now for the, looks like he's trying to set up a guillotine. Lie on go. his knees, trying to posture up and going for the single leg as he explodes up and lost it. It's, it's just hard to get good position on Ben Saunders. His angles are so good. He's very tall. It's a strange build. It's hard to get a good position on him. 
The knee by Saunders didn't fully land. Now, this is where Amaya does not want to be, up against the fence in the clinch. Another knee by Saunders. Partially landed. Not flush, though. Saunders, six foot three, four inches taller than his opponent, Raul Amaya. He tries to use that height, that length, and that reach. Going now for a switch. Generally, 170 Saunders has that advantage in all three categories against his opponents as he does in this fight. Nice step over by Saunders. Amaya's corner telling him, watch the triangle. It would be inverted from here, but it wouldn't surprise me if Ben Saunders pulled it off. Oh, now going for the arm bar. Saunders looking to straighten out the arm. All the fans from Raul Amaya trying to hold on for the final 40 seconds. Saunders now trying to go belly down on the arm bar. He's not going to get it from here. It's a shoulder lock from here. Amaya's got to put his weight on that left arm. Now going for the Kimura. A lot of torque. Good turn by Amaya, still in danger, and he pulls out of danger. Oh, great job. Now in the triangle. There is the triangle locked on by Ben Saunders. That is, that is chain jiu-jitsu. You go from one submission to the next, but does he have time to finish it? Closing seconds of round number one. Submission after submission thrown on by Ben Saunders, looking for the triangle. Stop. Yeah, back to corner. Come on around. Come here, Ben. Raul Amaya told us, Jimmy, coming into this fight, my opponent Ben Saunders has more to lose than I do. As a former pro fighter, as an active pro fight trainer, what do you think about you when you hear that comment? You know, it's a good way to, you know, you want to go in there and go for broke, but you have to remember you always have something to lose. This is a dangerous sport. Saunders playing the clinch game. Amaya letting go and letting go with the knee of his own. Counter knee by Saunders. And speaking of going for broke, Amaya just going for it here. Rapid fire start to round two. Three judges scoring cage side for the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulation. And Jimmy, as always, you have the unofficial scorecard. 10-9, Ben Saunders. He landed the better strikes. He had better position on the ground. Went for a lot of finishes. Wouldn't call it 10 8. He wasn't that close to. He didn't hurt him that badly, but definitely 10 9. Saunders, as we saw in round one, going back to risk control, fishing for a Kimura, couldn't find it. You Good see, knee to the body. You see Amaya's strategy in this round. The wrestling didn't work, so he started to pummel in with strikes this time around. Amaya now turtling down. Big right hands from the top by Saunders. This is where Saunders is so effective. From the back, he can hit you at funny angles. Once he gets his hooks in, if he flattens him out, it's going to be really hard for Amaya to come back. Triangle position now held. Body triangle held by Ben Saunders. The guy with Saunders' build on your back is a nightmare. Oh, went for the armbar transition and lost the back. Saunders lost the body triangle on that armbar transition, now fighting out of open guard. Amaya trying to apply pressure from the top. Trying to get the elevator sweep. On cue, Amaya's corner telling him, watch the sweep. Big elbows now from Saunders. Credit Amaya, he is staying very tight and tenacious. Oh, it's a tough dude. Looking for the slam. Saunders just making himself too big, then throws the knee. And caught by Amaya in the takedown. But he's jumping for a triangle on the way down. He knew he was going down and sold out for the triangle. Short, sharp right hand by Saunders from the bottom. Three minutes remaining in round two. We saw against Luis Santos that he has a phenomenal rubber guard. See here, going for the Uma Plata. Transition to the triangle. What a transition. Uma Plata to the triangle. Reposition. Got to get that elbow across. He's got to cut the angle, get his left arm underneath the leg of Amaya. Then he can finish. Got the left leg. Saunders trying to lock up the triangle. He's got the right leg under with his left arm. This could be it. Amaya trying to pull his way out, and he does. Oh, man, I thought that was finished. Front headlock now by Raul Amaya as he bullies his way back in. And the fans here really appreciating the heart of Amaya. He's like a dog, just will not let it go. Saunders nearly in mission control with that rubber guard. He is so active with those long legs. And yeah, flexible, too. Turn by Saunders. Maya still staying tight. 
Submission attempt after submission attempt thrown up by Ben Saunders in this fight. Beautiful turn in the north-south by Amaya. Saunders bleeding out of his nose. Saunders again holding as you see the body triangle from the bottom. Gets that ear. Saunders with the ear slaps. Old school MMA Open. from a huge fan of this sport. <laughs> Open hand strikes, man. Man, look at the flexibility of Ben Saunders. Wrist control, wrist control means triangle. That's why Amaya is trying to stay so close to him. Not give him space to put that left leg over his arm and get the triangle. Look at Saunders back to the body triangle. Jimmy, what do you think of that body triangle from the bottom? It, it, it's hard to be offensive with it. I mean, you're literally locking your opponent onto. Now he lets it go. Going for the armbar. He's got it tight. Tight on the armbar. Spinning it again. Amaya out of danger. Man, every time you think he's finished, he manages to tough his way out. Problem is, it only works so many times. An unconventional submission escape by Raul Amaya, but it worked. Jimmy, I know you always teach, don't try to stand your way out. Got to put pressure <laughs> Got to put pressure down on a guy like Ben Saunders to get out, but hey, it worked for Amaya that that. time. I'm also a fan of whatever works, and that worked for Raul Amaya. Saunders, back to almost the body triangle. Now big shots, fists and elbows from the top by Amaya. Looks like there's some frustration behind those shots. Saunders again holding the body triangle from the bottom. Back to the rubber guard for Saunders. Amaya, though, staying chest to chest, and look at the big smile on the face of Ben Saunders. A very entertaining two rounds thus far. Raul Amaya versus Ben Saunders looking for a place in the final four. Ah! All right, yeah, sorry, brother. Take it way back. You see here the arm bar, beautiful setup. Not tight enough with the knees. You see his feet crossed there. That gave Amaya the space to get out. Very close armbar, though. Give credit to Amaya for getting out of that one. Never cross your feet on the armbar, Sean. Jimmy, how did you score round two? You're I scored ready. it 10 9. Ben You're Saunders, ready. he went for a lot more submissions, tried to finish the fight. Amaya on top, but didn't do enough with it. In my opinion, judge, judges could easily have gone the other way. A really bad mouse has formed under Amaya's left eye. That eye is almost closed. And Amaya looked really tired in between round and, or rounds, and his coaches were talking to him like they know he's tired. But Amaya, he's not fighting tired. Amaya letting go with shots, throws the knee. Almost looked as though he pulled guard off the knee, but I don't think he did. I think he lost his balance. Saunders now trying to drive in, using his head as a lever, trying to nice move to pass. side control, and he does. I think Amaya, after he threw the knee, slipped and was just trying to make the best of a bad situation going down. Uh, I agree, and I also think that he may have spent a lot of energy on that attack. He's going to need it now. Full mount achieved by Ben Saunders, and he is thinking key lock. Man, he went for the triangle, did not get it. Amaya thinking escape once more. Amaya's played a lot of submission defense in this fight. Risk control again by Saunders. I don't understand being in top with such good position, not throwing any strikes at all. Went for the submission and lost it. Jimmy, That's always a risk from the top. I think Saunders was going key lock and then transitioned into the triangle, and then Amaya came out the back door. No, that's exactly what happened. But, you know, he was had full mountain, didn't go for any ground and pound. That's a little surprising, especially considering how close this fight is. A lot of judges scored for who's at, whomever is on top. Oh, wow, now giving up his back. Amaya with both hooks in. Saunders rolling to his back, full mount and full ground and pound from Raul Amaya. What a fight back and forth we go. This kid is not giving up. He's very high, though. Look for Ben Saunders to pull on that head and get, his, get out. Amaya almost holding a body triangle of his own. Now open guard as Saunders gets to the top position. Amaya's corner imploring him, you've got to get up. Easier said than done. You know, to me, Sean, this is what Bellator is all about. A guy coming in, not on the radar, and putting on a great performance against Ben Saunders. This kid isn't giving up. He knows this is the opportunity of a lifetime, and he's not, he's not backing down for anybody. I like his, the heart and guts of Raul Amaya. 
Jackhammer left by Ben Saunders, getting one hook in. Saunders now thinking rear naked choke. He's been thinking submission on the ground this entire time. That's really been his game from the beginning. That's a big left by Saunders. Got the body triangle now. The long legs of Ben Saunders to the body triangle, flattening out Raul Amaya. Saunders lost the body triangle. And also, when you're tired, when you're fatigued, when you know it's a, the third round of a very tough fight, having a guy on your back is so tiring, especially a guy like Ben Saunders that can put so much pressure on you. You know Raul Amaya can't take a full breath right now. And look at the body triangle and the hip pressure, the top pressure from Ben Saunders. Amaya trying to posture onto his left hip. Under 90 seconds remaining in this third and final round. Saunders looking for wrist control. Big left hand, then the hammer fist. Another hammer fist. If he unloads now, he can finish this fight. Amaya is completely flat. Watch yourself. Referee Todd Anderson telling Amaya to watch yourself. Huge shot from the top by Saunders That's looking it. to finish. 105 remaining. If he sits up and gets some distance, he can finish this fight. Left hands now from Saunders. Saunders, Saunders, wrist control. Going for the key lock. Key lock attempt from Ben Saunders. Couldn't find it. Those are sweaty gloves right now. Four sweaty gloves in the cage. Explosion from Amaya. He could not get Saunders off. Saunders, tenacious, holding that top position with the body triangle. Saunders has the perfect body triangle build. Here, Amaya looks totally spent. Right hands from Ben Saunders. Saunders has to figure out now, am I gonna go hard for the submission? Only 15 seconds left. I'm in good position now. He's gonna ride this one out, Sean. The left eye of Raul Amaya is almost completely closed. Saunders looking for one more big shot. Amaya trying to escape. The bell in the end of the fight. Man, Amaya hung tough. Great fight. He really gave it all. Great fight, but a great performance by Ben Saunders. When we return, we will see who will go through to the final four. Ben Saunders or Raul Amaya. An outstanding way to open the night and the season six welterweight tournament quarterfinal round. Raul Amaya had his left eye completely closed by that man, Ben Saunders, a really tough 15 minutes. Look at that round one. Ben Saunders going for the Kimura. Amaya trying to spin out of it and ending up on the bottom. Ben Saunders going for the arm bar here, could not keep it straight. Amaya just too slippery. Round two was Amaya's best round, getting the takedown. Managed to get out of this very tight arm bar. Staying on top virtually that entire round. Round number three, let it all hang out, but ended up on the bottom. And that's where Ben Saunders was affected. On top, getting good position, ending up on the back and landing that right hand. Great jujitsu, great positioning by Ben Saunders throughout this fight. Jimmy on your scorecard. 30-27, Ben Saunders will have to see what the judges think. Let's now send it to Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. Judge Jeff Blantnick scores the fight 30 to 26, while judges David Torelli and Eric Colon both score the fight 30 to 27, all for the winner. By unanimous decision now, the first semifinalist in the welterweight tournament, Ben Killaby Saunders. Jimmy is with the winner, Ben Saunders. I'm here with your winner, Ben Saunders, Ben. Raul Amaya was not going anywhere for 15 minutes. That was a war. No, nah, man, he was tough as hell. I gave him respect at the, after the fight for sure, man. I'm pretty sure I closed his left eye shut, and he didn't care, man. Kid fought till the end. Mad respect, bro. Thank you. Now, I know you're still thinking about your loss to Douglas Lima. You want a shot at the belt. How does it feel to have that first step out of the way this quarterfinal victory? Uh, no, it was definitely good to get it out of the way. But above all, man, I wanted to show the, make this show start off proper. 
Hope all, all you fans out there enjoyed the show. I didn't get to finish, but like I said, he was, hey, great to be back here at Mohegan Sun. I made my debut with Bellator here. I love you guys, thank you. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the semifinals, Ben, the killer B.